Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Pandora, Eclipse of Nashira, which, as you probably know, was named after that famous 80s song, Total Eclipse of Nashira. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. It was Total Eclipse of the Heart. Well, that, that doesn't even make sense. How can a heart have an eclipse? Ah, whatever. Anyway, we are trying to conquer the world, or actually we are trying to befriend the world and conquer them softly with our song. And we are the ambassadors, and we have spies. As you see, we got them in the last episode. They are covert agents. Can I, can I think of a better name than covert agent? How about we call them, in quotation marks, ambassadors. And yes, I know that is what our faction is called, but, you know, they're very ambassadors See, Yes, okay, moving forward. So what we have discovered is that even if our ambassadors are successful, they die, which is a shame. Let's, let's try to infiltrate them. Success! Oh! So when they're successful, they come back home. They don't die. Awesome, and now she's level two. So let's see what we got here. Well, there's Imperium. There's the Zenite. Oh, we should we should take this. There's the Absidach. Dach? Dach? Absid something. Sunken ruin. Oh man. These oceans, we need to exploit them. And then they're almost at this gold. We could theoretically get a colonizer up here and snipe that from them, but. I don't know. They're doing better than we are, I would say. Let's take a look here. Our market hails compared to that of the competition. No kidding, really. Our military strength is too low. Yeah, but you always say that. Even when we're, we're winning. Other factions have passed us. Man, we always suck at everything. Oh, by the way, I apologize for last episode, how it ended really early. I lost track of time. I thought it was getting down to the last minute, when indeed there were six minutes to go. Sorry about that. Hopefully it will not happen again. Okay. Oh good, we have our apartments. And we desperately need them. So, but... We're gonna build a mine though, because we don't have any flat land. Okay. Would I ever need field training? I guess it's possible. But not yet. Let's do the survey. Alright, so we have a colonial... Oh, we got a colonizer, right! Because of the colonization fervor. Now the question is... Can we make it up there? Let's try... Ooh, what are you doing? Wait, what? Let's just go through our friend's lands. They did, after all, ask us for access, so it's their own doing. All right, Ambassador, what are we going to do with you? These guys look dangerous. Can we do anything with them? Oh, oops, I only named, I only named her. I need to name all of them. Pardon me, folks. Okay, and... Oh, we can give her titanium armor. Why not? Nothing goes better with an evening dress than titanium armor. And defense power. Good. Okay, and... Can I just reset her to normal? Okay, whatever. Covert agent, it is. Can we upgrade her? How much would that cost? 
Okay. She now has titanium armor. Which I'm sure will come in handy at some point. Most of the aliens, it appears, are gone. So, the only real reason to have troops is to intimidate our neighbors. So much for upping the strength of the aliens. And there's a covert agent. Killer with fire. She is quite capable. And meanwhile, we'll move him up here. Who's this? Oh yeah, the religious folks. So we shall start a new colony here, right on this little peninsula. I don't want her to die. She's level 2. Hmm. Well, we can do it quickly. Awesome. And she's back home. So we can make it to this city, do something, and then get back without being attacked. I love it. Even though she only got 16 credits, I still love it. So this time, let's steal research. 73%? Ooh, that's risky. Let's let's just do this until her experience goes up to the point where stealing research is a real possibility. As you saw, we have over a 100% chance of stealing money. So if nothing else, she is a full-time... I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? Full-time extortionist. Remember, folks, we're the good guys. And not quite good enough yet. Another level should fix that. Wow. If I do say so, these... These ambassadors are quite powerful. Okay, no one kill... No one kill our guy, please. Oh! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Lady Vermilion declared war on Admiral Heed. Um. Well, you know what, though? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Okay, former. You. Now that you can. Can you, can you, really? I wonder if you could build apartments on the coast. Let's see. Meanwhile, you guys kill the secret agent. I'm really enjoying this mechanic. I am really enjoying this. I like my ambassador. She now has an 83% chance. Not quite good enough. Keep stealing the money. Eventually you will be so good that I will steal research with you and then life will be beautiful. Fungus cultivation is a good idea. Let's see. Sniper weapons? Or in a tank? Recycling, though, would be good. Oh, wow. What just... Whoa. Whoa! Their agent stole $348. I'm the best at this. How could they be... Wow! They're killing me. Is it maybe because I just had more money? Maybe the, the amount they steal is related to how much money the nation has? But still. Wow! That is harsh. You bastards. I'm going to take it right back from you. And I did. 367. <laughs> take that. <laughs> nice. Okay, so here's Bismarck. And it's going to focus on growth. And we need to get some defenders there. So, diplomat by other means. Please go to Bismarck. Ambassador, you're done for the turn. Colonial trooper, let's upgrade you. While we have the money, before they take it from us. And, wow, we're... This is great. This is great! What was I going to do here? Oh, yes. Exploit... 
the water, which I cannot. I cannot. But why? I wish it would tell me what technology I need. Let's see here. I thought it was this. Allows land units to self-embark across water. Yes, I've done that. Let's see. Illusion research? What? Elusive eluder? Oh, yes. We need this. We need this, like, now. Orbital mines? Maneuver estimation? Alright, so I don't see anything yet that would allow me to exploit the ocean. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not sure, folks. Not sure what it's going to take before we can exploit the oceans. But I know what we are going to do. We're going to exploit some gold. How are you doing on health? That would be really silly if the fungus killed you. All right. What do we need? Definitely the Great Planetary Survey. And then some apartments. And then we're going to go with more troops. Just for defense, of course. All right, Ambassador. You now have a 93% chance to steal research. Let's do it. Ta-da! We stole 66 research points. But, you see, we are diplomats. And so, we come into our own when we meet other people. And right now, we only know the Divine Ascension. We need to know more people. So, ooh, look at that. Now we're cooking with gas. So, unfortunately, I don't think the Ambassador is the best person for us to go and meet people with because she's easily destroyed. And they will attack her with no provocation. So what we really need to do is we need to send a troop. Just one little troop out there. And yeah, I apologize if you heard anything just now. My microphone just started vibrating. Weirdest thing. And hopefully it didn't come out in the sound, but it might have, so I apologize if it did. Kind of looking at it now quizzically, wondering what's going on. Automated factory? Yes. Okay, Ambassador. You are... She's level 8. Wow, she's so good. Let's steal some more technology. 98% chance of success? I'll take those odds. And every time she does it, she gets better. She can get it to be level 20. She infiltrated reconnaissance. That's fine. Do that all you want. I don't care. Let's cultivate the fungus. You guys in Rosenberg are just going to stay there. Bismarck, you're just going to stay there. Ambassador, do what you do best. This is... this. I love this. I absolutely love this. She's level 10 now. And we're out of food. Whoops. Someone wasn't paying attention. Alright, as soon as this mine is complete, we will... Or Ashley Bismarck, can you just spit a former out? We will pay for it. Thank you. Ambassador. Wish you could steal food. That would certainly be useful. But we'll take money. A hundred bucks. I like it. I really, really like it. And we have detected an enemy covert agent. There she is. Let us teach her the error of her ways. Man, she does a lot of damage, though. The next level ones are going to be really tough. 
Okay, more research perhaps? 113% chance of success? I will take those odds. Okay, we have this other former building farms, so we can build mines. Or actually, what is, does Rosenberg need anything? The growth rate is down from morale and... St oh, starvation, yes, of course. That makes sense. You know what? Let's do a purifier instead. And you... Whoa, what was that? Oh, it was the, the wake from the boat. Barracuda. So they have barracudas already. Their research is much stronger than mine. The research is strong with this one. And now, Bismarck, what are you going to do? Let's go back to growth. We should always endeavor to wonder at the permanent thing, not at the mere exception. We should be startled by the sun, and not by the eclipse. G.K. Chesterton, Illustrated London News, 1905. Okay, well, that's another thing about this expansion, ladies and gentlemen. There are eclipses. I've never suffered through an eclipse before, so let's find out what they are. Astronomers across all factions have been studying Pandora's sister planets and have reached the conclusion that, in about a decade, there will be a spectacular conjunction. This will cause an eclipse that might last years until Pandora moves out of the shadow of the inner planets. Our hydroponics farms shouldn't be unduly affected, they mostly use artificial light, but we have no idea how such an eclipse will affect the creatures of Pandora. Many of them seem agitated, even by the planet's short nights, so how will they cope with years without sufficient food or light? Who can say how they will behave? Okay, that's spooky. Might be some time for some heavy war machines. But what I really want is more money and better research wouldn't hurt either. Let's just get field training to round out what we have and then go with recon. Maybe if I recon other factions, I can it'll count as meeting them for the purposes of diplomacy. Let's get some more research from these guys. And she's now level 13. Ah, contact established with Imperium. Greetings, Secretary Palomino. You are talking to Admiral James Heed of the Imperium, 1st Division Expeditionary Force. Under my direct command is the most advanced war machinery known to men, and the beasts inhabiting this world will feel its full wrath. You better make sure not to walk into my line of fire. Let's trade. Nice. Let's research. Now remember, every pact I have... Actually, I steal research and money from it, so I want to have packs with everybody because that makes me tons of money. And non-aggression. We have a treaty paper here. Um, would you rather refer to us as the Allies or the Axis? I can never decide. <laughs> and they've accepted it. Our cartographers just can't quite make these maps as beautiful as the hand-drawn ones we brought from Earth. Do you want a look? Rejects it. No. Okay, so we've met another faction, whom we are now stealing from. Let's see. Yes, point two is from Trading Packs. But we are still a bit low on the food. People are starving, and that means everything is starting to suck. We need to fix that. ASAP. We are not growing, which is bad-ish. You know what makes everything better, folks? Money. $85 to be exact. And my covert agent is just awesome. She's now level 14. If she ever dies, I will be so sad. I will be so sad. I think we have... Do we have better than titanium yet? Nope, just titanium. Well, she's very pale, though. You'd think with all that running around, she'd be a little, uh, a little more tan, but I guess not. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.